Better late than never, right? Hey guys, where are you? David DeFranco here, DavidDeFranco.com with finally my iPhone 10 unboxing. Now, I pre-ordered this as quick as I could, at least when Apple.com went live for me on the East Coast, because I still think Apple rolls it out in, like, you know, uh, waves, if you will. But long story short, I didn't get my iPhone 10 on launch day, which sucked. Yeah, it sucked. But honestly, it didn't really affect me all that much because I've been so focused on building my gaming PC, which is right behind you guys right now. It's not complete, but I did get the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti in today, as well as a few other accessories. So yes, yeah, so I'll be doing that after this video. And that's kind of why my room looks like this right now. It's gonna look a lot better in just a few hours. Anyway, here we go, iPhone 10 unboxing, 256 gigs. Because, well, come on, I figured if you're spending $1,000 on a phone, you might as well go all the way. Now, realistically speaking, 64 gigs would probably be enough for someone like me who streams all their music and doesn't keep all their videos on their phone because I'd like to record videos and edit them on my Mac Pro or MacBook Pro, whatever. And then I take the videos off my phone to save space. But if I'm spending $1,000 on a phone, I was like, come on, David, you might as well spend the extra money. You're going from 64 gigs to 256 gigs. That's a big jump in overall storage and obviously brilliant marketing on Apple's part. So bravo, Apple. You cost me a couple hundred extra dollars once you factor in tax and all that stuff. Anyway, I did go with the silver version. So let's unbox this right now. iPhone 10. I am very excited because as my weekend vlog viewers know, I broke the Touch ID button on my iPhone 7 Plus while camping. I got into some kind of biking accident. I mean, I was, I was fine, but I literally flew in the air and my bike like hit my pocket just right where it broke the home button and nothing else. So yeah, I suppose it could have been far worse. The display could have cracked, the cameras could have cracked, but it was just a home button. And honestly, I quickly got used to assistive touch, which isn't all that bad. But I definitely did miss using Touch ID for purchases and logins and set of passwords and all that stuff. So this is going to be very nice to have back. Obviously, it does not have Touch ID. It has Face ID. It has Face ID. And that's going to be a lot of fun for me to learn over time. So here we go. Ah. iPhone 10 unboxing, 256 gigs, silver, designed by Apple in California. And there is the phone itself. Saving best for last, let's go in here. You get a little hello guide, as well as your usual Apple stickers. Very cool. You can never have too many Apple stickers. And let's slide that right back into the packaging, if I can get it in the slit. Come on, David. You know, I can build a gaming PC, but I cannot put paper back in the packaging. There you go. Props to Apple. It's like the perfect fit. All right, moving on. That fell, whatever iPhone 10. Here you go. Here you go. Very nice. Oh my God. Look at the back. Is that not beautiful? I just turned it on by accident. Apparently cool. Let it boot. And we do have an OLED screen. I think I turned it on. Yeah, there it goes. It turned off for a second. It's doing its startup thing. Get a little power adapter. It goes right back in the box and you get ear pods. You got to be careful when you say that ear pods, not air pods, as well as uh, this little adapter for your headphone jack. God forbid. And of course, a lightning cable. So there you go. There's my unboxing of the iPhone 10. But of course, I'm not done yet. I'm going to do a basic walkthrough of what the phone is like to set up initially. But first, let's take off the plastic. Listen to this. Beautiful. Hola. Oh my God, it's so nice to finally hold this in my hand. Now I emphasize that because my dad has had one since launch day. He waited in line in AC. That stands for Atlantic City. And I believe it took him two and a half hours in line, which isn't bad at all. But my God, this display is beautiful. This looks even better than the iPhone 7 Plus. All right, so obviously seeing it on video isn't gonna do it justice, but you guys are gonna have to take my word for it. The text is super sharp. We have the time up here in the top left. In the top right, we have your data signal, uh, 4G or LTE, depending on what you're using. 
as well as the battery. Now unfortunately, you cannot see the battery percentage by default, you have to swipe down for uh, control center, which is unfortunate, I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully Apple changes that at some point in the near future, because in my opinion, there is room in the top left to add something extra there. So perhaps they will do that in the future. And check it out, you can now just tap the screen to wake it up, which I like a lot. All right, swipe up, here we go. Let's do this together. Very nice. English, select your country, good old US of A. Quick start, if you have an iPhone or iPad running iOS 11, bring it nearby to sign in automatically. If you want, you can also set this iPhone up manually. All right, so I'm gonna set mine up manually. Tap that button. And I'm gonna log into my Wi-Fi SSID to Franco University. Wow, the keyboard is raised. That's so interesting as I almost dropped the phone. Look at that. The keyboard is actually raised a bit. I guess because it's easier to type higher up than lower. That's smart and honestly that didn't even cross my mind until right now. So because the iPhone 10 is radically different than any iPhone we've ever seen throughout the past 10 years, obviously we're gonna see some changes in uh, overall UI and UX over time. So join the Wi-Fi network, joined nice and fast. And guys, honestly, that notch, it's not really bothering me all that much. I've heard after like five or 10 minutes of usage, you just kind of forget it's there. And if anything, and yeah, I know, I know, this sounds like a total fanboy comment. It honestly looks kind of cool. It's different from any phone I've used in the past. And that alone is kind of a big deal for Apple. I mean, if you're gonna see this iPhone in public and you see the notch in the middle, you immediately know it's the iPhone 10. So just saying. Confirm your phone number, activation. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Let the dots thing. And I do have a handful of cases that I will be testing over the next few weeks. It looks really cool. It's not truly bezel-less, but it's pretty damn close and I really like how it wraps around this screen. It just looks amazing. It really does and it's so, like, super sharp. It's really, really sharp with text. It looks so good. Okay, here we go. Face ID. This is where things get really interesting. Continue. First, position your face in the camera. Uh, then move your head in a circle to show all angles of your face. So there you go. And I gotta say the OLED screen is looking beautiful. We have pure blacks going on, which is really cool. Let me see if you see a tint of blue. Maybe. It doesn't look as blue as my Pixel 2 XL. All right, get started. Position your face within the frame. Wow, it's playing a sound. Dude, first face ID scan complete. All right. Now it's using the true depth cameras or camera. Second face ID. All right, face ID is now set up. Now you do want to create a passcode just in case face ID does not work because it's not guaranteed to be perfect. All right, apps and data. Am I going to restore from iCloud backup, restore from iTunes backup, set up as new iPhone or move data from Android. I love the fact that Apple even mentions Android. Set up as new iPhone, always. Whether I get a new iPad, or a new iPhone, or even a new Mac for that matter, I love starting fresh. Starting clean, no clutter. That's just the way I like to do it. So signing in my Apple ID, Apple ID activation code. I might get that on my watch. Oh, pops up my iPhone. That's right, it's not technically a text message. I just dropped the phone there. Your Apple ID is trying to be, okay, here we go. Allow, this says no service already, which is cool. That was pretty quick. Okay, agree to the terms and conditions. So agree, it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. This is definitely a phone you're gonna wanna put in a case. I mean, I will say it's not that hard to hold, but it's already kinda slipped out of my hand a couple times already. What is that? Interesting, so that's where the antenna lines meet. I thought it was a defect at first. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look at my dad's iPhone to see how that looks. Okay, express settings. Continue. As always, extremely easy setup process. Apple walks you through it step by step. Apple Pay, set up later in wallet. Uh, app analytics, share with app developers, of course. And true tone display, I'm gonna leave on for now because I'm a big fan of that on my iPad. 
switching between apps. So it's showing you how to switch between apps. You can technically do it faster than that. You don't have to hold your thumb in place for half a second or whatever it is. You can quickly swipe up and then swipe to the right. So just as a tip for you. Quickly access controls. Yep, that's control center, top right corner. And you can ask Siri. This is now the Siri button on the right. So you just hold that down, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Welcome to iPhone. Swipe up to get started. And here we go. Let's do this together. Very nice. Now let's lock the phone. Okay. Tap it. Look at it. And it unlocked. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect experience. Thank you, Apple. Thank you very much for making that perfect, seriously. Uh, use this device when sharing your location? Of course, of course. That makes it easier for my um, Apple ecosystem as a whole. Allow wallet, blah, blah, blah. Okay, anyway, guys, I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. There you go. My iPhone 10 unboxing, I think, was a huge success. It's a beautiful device. 256 gigs of storage. Face ID, wireless charging, which I will be using probably quite often. I'm not sure yet, but probably quite often. Uh, the OLED display is looking great. Text looks even sharper than it did on my iPhone 7 Plus. And of course, the entire front is pretty much display. So this is gonna be radically different than any iPhone I've used in the past. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Do you own the iPhone 10? If so, let me know what you think right below. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you next time.